Hey guys, so uh, the past few weeks has been finals weeks in school, so um, this is what I got uh, in the past few weeks. I haven't done anything with it because I've been so busy, but these are the jeans and the shoes. Um, if you guys stay tuned for my next video, I'll show you guys the jackets, shirts, that kind of stuff. It's mostly all clothes, um, as always. But first I'll show you the shoes, I guess. Uh, so the first pair of shoes are these. They are Merrill leather shoes and I paid four dollars for these and my estimate is that they're gonna go for thirty five dollars um, next thing are these um, they are Kenneth Cole shoes they're dress shoes leather they're black uh, they're really nice pretty good shape and um, I paid four bucks for these and my estimate is fifty dollars but uh, much cooler would be these. Uh, here's what these look like. The bottoms. Uh, you can see right there, that's the brand. It is Prada. And it says Prada on the silver thing here too. Uh, they have a little bit of staining on that one, if you can see. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fix that. I really don't know. But um, I paid four bucks in my estimate for these is $90 and these are another great find I'm not sure if they're men's or women's uh, they're leather but then you can see on the side it's like this material uh, these are Gucci as you can see on the bottom Gucci and yeah, it says Gucci on the back too and they're really soft really good shoes and uh, they're made in Italy it says it in the inside um, so I paid four dollars and master for these is a hundred dollars so very good find for all these dress shoes. Uh, next I have these e-bags that I got. Uh, they're really light, uh, breathable with the mesh, and they're really strong, but they're super, super light. And I got three of them. Uh, I got all these for free, and I think I could get like 15 bucks for like a lot of three, but I might keep them, they're pretty useful. I did get them for free, so. Um, next I'll show you the jeans. Uh, these are Ruka jeans, men's gray Ruka jeans, and my estimate for these is 26 bucks. I paid six. Next thing are these men's crew jeans. That's the K for the crew. These are like skateboarding jeans, and they're size 30. And I paid six bucks. My estimate is 20 bucks. And they're skinny. Skinny jeans always seem to do the best. Next are these women's. These are women's mech jeans. And the style for these is called New York. And these are size 25 women's jeans. And I paid six bucks and my estimate for these is 55 bucks. I'm actually gonna list these as new because I see no signs of wear anywhere on the jeans. So these will be sold as new. Uh, you guys, uh, I get quite a few comments from people saying like, something is probably not new or how do you know if it's new but I have never ever had a single person complain um, everyone says exactly as described or exactly as stated so I think I'm doing pretty well determining um, whether something is new or not but that's just my opinion so next pair of jeans these are page jeans uh, here's what the tag looks like and uh, the style of these is called Hidden Hills, and I paid six bucks. And my estimate is forty. Uh, the next pair of jeans are these big old Levi's five oh fives, forty by thirty two, and I paid six bucks. And my estimate is twenty three dollars. Next uh, is this gray pair of Levi's and these are called 561's 30 by 32 is the uh, size and they have tiny little bleach stains so it might be worth less than my estimate but I uh, paid six bucks my estimate it was twenty eight dollars but they're in really great shape other than these tiny little bleach spots next up is a pair of G-Star jeans these are women's unfortunately if they were men's they'd be worth quite a bit more uh, here's what the tag is, and these are new with the tag. Uh, here's the tag still attached. It says low hip boot. 
Uh, it doesn't say a price or anything, but G-Star jeans sell for quite a bit of money. They're really expensive. If they were men's, I could probably get over $100 for them, but they're women's, unfortunately. So my estimate for these is, uh, well, $30 to $40. I'm going to try to sell them for $40, but I won't sell for anything less than $30. And just because they're new and, you know, they're made in Italy. They're really high quality, uh, new with tags, so pretty good find still, even though they're women's. Next is a pair of Abercrombie jeans, and I find nowhere at all in these, so I'm going to list these as new too, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm going to list them as new, and I paid 6 bucks, and I'm going to try to sell them for $35. Um, next is a pair of, they are called Billy Blues, and... They are new with the tag. Now here's the tag. So whoever had them before was trying to sell them for $140. Um, that's why I got them. And they're only going to sell on eBay for around $25. But I paid six, so that's still a pretty good profit. And next is a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. Uh, nothing amazing or anything, but I paid five bucks. And I'm going to try to sell them for like. 20 to $25. The uh, next pair of jeans are pretty random. I thought they were going to be a pretty good find. Um, they're called Simply Vera by Vera Wang. And I know Vera Wang like makes, I think, dresses and similar things like that maybe. I'm not really 100% sure, but I think she makes dresses. So I thought this was going to be a really, really good find for a pair of jeans from her. But unfortunately, they're only going for around like 16 bucks on eBay. But still, I'm still going to make a profit off them. Uh, next, next up is this pair of Joe's jeans. Uh, nothing special, but they're used. And I paid uh, six bucks, but I think I'm gonna sell them for sixteen. So still gonna make a good profit off that. And they got a little bit of leg frame, but they're good jeans. Next up is pretty cool. I looked this up on my phone really quickly before I got them. Uh, it's called Big Star, and. Uh, Big Star and they're called Live. That's the specific pair of jeans that Big Star makes. It's the one called Live, I guess. And these, uh, my estimate for these is like fifty-eight dollars. So that's pretty cool. And next, uh, I don't find Rock and Revivals like ever, but it seems that lately I've been finding a lot of them. So yeah, these are what Rock and uh, or Rock Revival. Uh, that's what these look like and uh, this specific pair is called Paul. It's a boot cut, size 29, and I paid six bucks. And my estimate for these is like, God, $90. I was so excited when I looked these up. I mean, I'll have no problem selling them for that too. Uh, these jeans sell really, really well on eBay. So you guys have to remember to look for Rock Revival jeans. Very good find. And then I say for last, the most common one, uh, most people know it. Uh, they're used, but they're in great shape. So I'll show you these pair of True Religions. Um, yeah, you can see they're really good shape. They show like no signs of wear, really. And then they got the purposeful markings. And this one has a hole here. And here is the tag and the RN. CA authenticity tag and another tag back here. Um, but yeah, these are called Billy Super T, size 30 by 34. And I paid six bucks for these, and my estimate is that I'm going to be able to sell them for over $100. Uh, my estimate exactly is $110. So, pretty awesome find. So, Here's everything I got the last three weeks uh, as far as shoes and jeans. Uh, stay tuned for my next video. It's going to be pretty good. Um, I got uh, a lot of really cool stuff, so definitely stay tuned for the next video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.